Hi Cancer, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-October general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Cancer, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Cancer, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Cancer, how are you? I love you so much. Let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-October general reading. I hope you're all doing well. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, for mid-October. Thank you, Spirit. All right, my loves, we have the strength card at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are dealing with or could be dealing with a Leo here, mid-October. This is definitely I'm being drawn to the yellow in the background, and uh, she has an infinity sign um, on top of her crown. I feel like you're going through a test. You're passing a difficult test. There's something um, here that's really tested your strength. Page of Swords, Hierophant. Hmm. Leo energy. Tough as nails. That's what I heard. Tough as nails. You tough. A lot of you, I'm hearing thick, uh, thick skin. You might be in a situation where you've had to learn to thicken your skin um, and not take stuff so personally in a situation. Um, and I say that, for example, um, say take what I do, for example, or any, any person who's on a public platform. We get a lot of beautiful comments, but we also get some haters from time to time. And the hater comments can be really, really painful, right? So I feel like there's a situation there um, happening here, Cancer, where you're learning to not take things so personally, okay? Cancer, recent past. Let's see what's going on here. Ten of Cups, little happy, happy Cancer. I heard happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> Beautiful, I'm seeing the rainbow here. Some of you literally have maybe been seeing rainbows. Rainbows could be a sign for you. Ten of Cups, Cancer. You've been a very happy, um, emotionally fulfilled, I should say, environment, situation. Ten of Cups is like, you feel good. The family, the friends, the connections, everyone's feeling good. We've been on solid ground, Cancer, for a Pentacles. Boundary work also definitely brings in happiness for a, for a, a cancer for you. Um, oh, I got tongue tied on that. Eight of Wands. Oh, someone might be talking to you online or communicating, reaching out, and they're a little tongue tied. Maybe that person for Pentacles was a little held back. I'm hearing reserved in the past. Mm. Cancer, recent past. Let's get one more. that six of swords and for some reason even though it's not there i literally just there like showed me a rainbow <laughs> again the rainbows are a huge sign for y'all for cancer this time seven of cups some of you have like taken like a family vacation in the recent past um you've in some kind of situation you and someone a friend um a, a romantic partner something around work um, got better something improved in your life where maybe there was a conflict some chaos some ups and downs with a person or in a situation that that you were dealing with six of swords it's like things are improvement or improving okay I feel like you have seven of cups I'm kind of picking up an energy of like you have more options in a situation than you think you do or, or than you thought you did. Current energy cancer, please. Current situation, four of cups. Why is he here? Oh. We have the four of cups out. Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy. It seems to be in the current energy 
the current cups, the current friend groups, the current maybe romantic situation, the current emotional stuff in your life. Um, you're not really thrilled about it, but spirit in the four of cups is bringing you a new cup. Okay. A new person, a new, I'm hearing arrival, something you don't see coming. You have your eyes closed, focusing on something here. And you're like, eh, this is all right. But spirit's bringing you a cup from around the corner. King of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for a lot of you, male or female, very strong masculine here. Oh, bo, 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 bo. we see the trend now. There's the strength card. I feel like there is someone's like, again, testing your patience. There could be a conversation coming up. Leo air sign doesn't have to be, but where something's destined, something's meant to be with a star card, strong Aquarius energy. Something feels destined. Something feels meant to be strong wish fulfillment here. I'm almost feeling with the strength card, King of Swords, star card. I hear some of you saying, I do not believe it. I don't like I'll believe it when I see it, like that kind of energy. Oh, we have the Empress out, Divine Feminine, Libra and Taurus energy. We are in Libra season also still right now. This is about receiving. If the Emperor would come out, it would be about providing, about doing something. You're about to receive something here. Empress, um, she doesn't chase, she attracts, male or female. Even the men watching in your feminine energy, there's something that you want to receive. And if you really want it, you got to kick your feet up and know that you're worth it. Ooh, four of swords. You got to kick your feet up and know that you're worth it. The universe wants to give you something. Some of you, like your star family, your are gifting you something we're gonna yeah mm. cancer future energy mid-october oh well well more options than we thought we had queen of cups in a relationship in the way that we care for ourselves I have more options than I thought I did when it comes to healing myself, nurturing myself. Also, regardless of the reading or the sign, Queen of Cups, yes, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, male or female, strong feminine. This is about receiving what? A relationship. A healthy relationship. Last one. What do we have for Cancer, please? judgment at the very end here some kind of big decision with the page of cups at the bottom of the deck there's that strength card again and the four of wands six of cups five of cups someone in some type of union commitment some of you this feels like married with children four of wands six of cups definitely maybe someone that you've partnered with in the past maybe have kids pet something that you share together strength card page of cups someone there wants to offer you this little cup of love this also could be a version of you hey putting yourself out there in some situation entertaining an idea you definitely have a very strong reading today this is very these are all very good cards. These are all very healthy energies. The Four of Cups can be a little lackluster and the King of Swords can be a little cold. But other than that, I feel like you've really, really Cancer. Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords. That's four and six is ten. The ten of Cups, ten, ten. Ten, ten could be significant to a lot of you, especially more in the recent past, as those are your recent past cards. You've really passed a test. You've moved on past, they're saying whatever was in your five of swords, conflict, conflict in your own mind, beating yourself up, thinking you're not good enough for someone or a situation. All that's gone now. Why? Because someone did the work here. Four of pentacles. You've really grounded yourself. A lot of you maybe are eating better, saving your money, being more selective with who gets to be in your energy it's a privilege to get to be in your energy and that is a very strong message coming in with these two cards 
and you've worked so hard to understand that and know that. Six of Swords, now you can travel. Now you can move on and get out of that Five of Swords energy. You see in the boat where it was rocky, it was these big waves of high highs and low lows and inconsistency. That's not cute, that's not fun. We've, we're moving forward to smoother sailing waters where things are kind of calming down. As they calm down, some of us are getting a little bored, okay? That can be normal, especially for those of us who were, are not used to healthy relationships. This feels like a true transition on, at the root of your whatever you're going through, work, relationships, stuff with yourself. I'm feeling that the, the root of this reading is the way that you speak and communicate and delegate because you're so rooted and grounded in who you are now. A lot of you have been really shifting into or shifting out of fear energy. I'm making this decision or I'm doing this thing because I'm scared because I don't want to lose them. So I'm going to overwork, overshare, overextend. Mm -mm. We've got Empress energy down here, babes. We don't do that. Empress doesn't do that. Empress just knows he or she deserves the best. Okay. And I feel for a lot of you, you've been doing the homework and knowing that you do deserve the best. Oh, coming full circle, what I was gonna say is some of you were raised in an environment in your childhood of chaos, where you had to people please mom or dad or a, some kind of parent figure. And so your whole life, you were probably raised with zero boundaries or very limited boundaries. And those of you that have been doing your boundary work, don't you feel so good? Because I feel like a lot of you, there's like this energy right here in the core, right here in your gut, your high priestess energy, your navigation, it's right here. You feel stronger right here, don't you? I know that you do because I'm in your energy and I can feel it. I feel like my legs and my feet are so grounded. I feel like a strong tree, you know what I mean? And yeah, there might be storms and there might be you know, rain and there's gonna be seasons where my leaves might fall off, but they come back again. But but my my roots and who I am are not moving anymore. Trees don't go move around to go be with other trees. They're rooted in who they are. And that is the work that you have been doing. And I'm so proud of you because you're able to speak up, speak your truth and delegate like a boss. And as you do that star card, major wish fulfillment comes in when you least suspect that you don't see this 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 is a wish fulfillment this is i'm almost hearing the word arrangement arrangement uh, you get some kind of wish fulfillment here something definitely works out and you're being very hopeful and optimistic empress queen of cups judgment this is like i feel like you've really learned your lesson i really feel like you've been working on your emotional stability here and you're definitely getting a huge opportunity to move up next level in whatever your situation is. Page of Cups, beautiful. I feel like you also, remember we talked about the beginning of, um, there's also another message of not taking things so personal, right? Like maybe when, like for example, I use myself for example, where, you know, I get, fuck ton of amazing comments you know like thank you Jacqueline this reading is really great or it resonated or it helped me or whatever and there's some people that are just like hey this is terrible and I've just gotten all the worst comments in the world hello I'm a cancer rising hello I'm sensitive I'm a Pisces sun and moon you think that doesn't hurt my feelings of course it does so what I'm saying with things like that when people other people have projected things upon you in the past you have learned to take that with a grain of salt and understand that sometimes people don't know how to even love themselves and they're projecting that fear upon you, right? So I feel for a lot of you, you have thickened your skin up a little bit. This is a lesson I learned a long time ago, by the way, this is nothing current. But I feel for whoever I'm connecting with here, Cancer, you're in a situation where maybe you're on a platform now. Uh, star card maybe you're coming into some kind of notoriety platform you know maybe you're going to be more in the public eye and you're going to have to thicken your skin in some kind of way king of swords that's outside of your comfort zone and you wouldn't be able to get here unless you did the work for pentacles and got grounded yes 
I really, really, really love this for you. Let's clarify and go deeper. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this for you. The bottom of the deck, we have the sun card. Sunshine, happiness, abundance. I'm hearing lots of laughter, comedy. Three of Pentacles, full card. Mm, who are you? New person. You're in a whole new realm and a whole new energy. You're so happy or you're about to be. Three of Pentacles with your new team, new tribe, new group, new something. I'm hearing that, uh, I'm hearing freedom, like that song, Freedom. And I feel like you're free from like the old chains of who you used to be. Like you've freed yourself. What's this 10 of cups in the recent past for cancer, please? Interesting. Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Chariot. Woo! A lot of you I'm seeing in the recent past, let me show you the cards. Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. A lot of you had a decision to make where you could either like reach out and communicate with someone who's watching, like you've been watching someone, they've been watching you, or there was some denial here. There were some de delays on something that you wanted, but either you were lying to yourself about it or someone else that you're involved with was, was lying to themselves about it, causing a lot of stress here. I feel like you were caught in between two situations in the past. And no matter which one that you chose, it was the right one because we're talking about the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're finding some kind of middle ground here of... I'm hearing something's coming around. Something that you thought you were skeptical about. Something about the Page of Swords is you've done your research. You've gotten into your logical mind about it. And when you really thought about it, I feel like you can trust the situation or you can trust the person. Whereas in the past, I feel like you were always looking over your shoulder. Is this trustworthy? Are they trustworthy? There is a sense of mistrust either with a person or whatever situation you were dealing with in the past that made you very uncomfortable and kind of kept you up at night. Chariot. I think that you moved yourself away from that person or situation. Ace of Swords. What's your four of pentacles? This is laying, I'm hearing laying solid foundation. What's this four of pentacles? You sure did. You sure did. Eight of swords, knight of swords, hierophant, king of cups. Everything, every situation, what did they say? What did I say? All that fear-based thought that was keeping you trapped. Knight of swords, hierophant. You're like, I just... You like signed up with spirit here. You're like, I, I only am doing high level commitment. I don't want less than, I don't want breadcrumbing. I don't want inconsistency. I don't want in and out. This knights are in and out. Knight of wands, knight of swords. They're in and out. I, they come and talk to you sometimes and then they ghost. Knight of wands is a player energy. You hang out, hook up, and then they gone. Kind of vibe. You know what I mean? There's something here where eight of swords, knight of swords, you were like, Something's off, something's not right. This is inconsistent. Some, someone was probably an air sign or someone with a lot of air in their chart was showing you inconsistency, but you're the Hierophant. Taurus energy, this is high level commitment here. I feel for a lot of you, you chose you chose you. You chose your home. You chose your your beliefs. Hierophant. Hierophant is old school energy. It's a belief system. What do you believe in? King of Cups. 
you believe in health i'm talking about healthy mature ships friendships relationships with family friends co-workers lovers partners whoever something felt off to you and you trusted spirit to take care of it and they did for another group of you yes for another group of you this knight of swords eight of swords someone reached out to you and gave you some kind of communication wanting a higher level commitment wanting to hire you for a very solid job or be with you in a more romantic way or in the past knight of cups seven of cups that person made you an option and this is about love and romance for you look what just came out seven of cups knight of cups someone made you an option and you wanted hair fit energy you wanted something stable and consistent and honorable. Six of Swords, why is this here in the recent past for Cancer? Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Temperance. Definitely a lot of healing here. You're definitely moving towards healing but it's hard for you a lot of you it's hard to put down this like maybe for some of you i feel like you're walking away from some kind of like social life um I'm, I'm almost actually picking up on a person or even a couple if you will like say for example you just like started your family and you're like y'all have a baby or you have a couple youngins and the old friends or group that you used to hang out with don't have kids yet and you're you're like well i'm kind of in this in between place of i still want to party or be social with my friends but i also have this responsibility right Hereford talks about responsibilities so i feel whatever this this is for you that you've chosen some kind of middle ground here three of cups nine of swords two of pentacles on your six of swords with temperance is like slowly but surely you're shaking off this three of cups not necessarily that you're not going out and you're not social and you're not fun anymore but you're prioritizing your energy nine of swords two of pentacles things that have stressed you out you've addressed them sooner than later instead of procrastinating and letting a situation snowball into something more have you not you and that's hard to do a lot of you have like hey i could put this off i could put this off and play i could put this off but instead you're like, no, I'm going to look at it now and I'm going to address the situation now so I can move forward. Is that easy to do? No. But for a lot of you, I'm hearing time, time gap or time jump, space jump, time jump. Some of you have like skipped a timeline in this energy. You've skipped a timeline in this energy. Yeah, you're moving timelines, two of pentacles. You're moving from like something inconsistent, something kind of here and there to unknown territory, but the unknown territory is a plan for stability. I hope y'all are still with me on that. Four of cups in the current energy, you're feeling meh. Four of cups again, see, you're like, uh, you're not really loving your social life right now. You're not feeling it, right? And again, a lot of you don't have to be in this scenario, like I said, like new parents with a baby and you're kind of not out with your friends anymore, but there's something similar like that happening in this situation. Confirmation, four of cups, four of cups. Nine of wands, two of wands, ace of wands. You're fully aware that going back to the old way, going back to an old behavior, going back to an old lifestyle, going back to an old person, going back to the old thing, it's not bad, but it's also not serving you. Two of Wands, there's a contract and there's a choice to what? Level up, to take the next step. Into what? Not being here in the comfort zone. You have the world in your hands. You're about to take off. This is a new step, a, a new stepping stone. This is a new, um, a new path for you that you've never walked before called the king of swords where you're the boss 
where you're speaking up, where you're delegating what's going on here, Four of Pentacles. And why would that be again? Because you're solid as fuck. You've, you've invested in yourself and you've chosen yourself and spirit is very, very, very proud of you. What's this King of Swords for Cancer, please? Don't you dare. <gasps> is that the Ace? It is. Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Empress. This King of Swords, male or female, Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius. Yes, this could be you saying, hey, mama's tired. I've already put in my work. I'm starting to delegate. I'm not going to be over stretching over bending over backwards y'all can bend over backwards for me like that's that vibe but i'm also another version i'm picking up here is that there's a very woken woken hearted i don't know why it's coming up like that but someone talks like that very broken hearted king of swords either strong gemelli bro aquarius and they're not they're pretty cold in general they are coming in with an Ace of Swords to communicate to who the Empress that they want to what? Eight of Pentacles. Work on this. Focus. Focus on the Empress. You. The Divine Feminine. I miss you. I'm heartbroken. What's their Ace of Swords? What is their truth? What is this message about? They're ready to invest now. I remember I said some you you invested in you, and someone else you're dealing with invested in themselves too, and now they have a pentacle to offer you. Ace of Pentacles, boom, strength card. You're really you're t you're you're gonna be tested. I feel like you're gonna be tested on this. Five of Cups, Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles. This person has been immature to you before. This person has been. I'm hearing they just act like a kid. They didn't take you seriously or they didn't take the situation seriously. It can even be like a teammate. You're in a band, you're in a you're in a, a roommate situation, you're in a group setting. Someone there like didn't take shit seriously. But I'm feeling that this is someone very significant in your life that's coming to tell you their truth. Three of swords. I'm I'm hurting, I'm in pain, I miss you. I want to work on this and I want to serve the Empress. Ace of Pentacles. Someone has either also some money for you or they're giving you their heart for real. What's this star card about? Queen of Cups. Some of you, like your relationship's gonna be public now. Star card is like, everyone will know. Star energy, literally like celebrity energy, like public energy. Queen of Cups is relationship. Some of you, you're, I see like, I know this is like cheesy as fuck, but like, what is it on Facebook, for example? Is that the one where you like change your relationship status? Like I see someone changing that and then everyone will know who you're with or who's with you. <laughs> Star card cancer. Oh! <laughs> Some of you are going to have two kings because you're also the six of pentacles and the lovers. You're definitely going to have a choice. This King of King of Swords came right back. Okay, on the star card, a wish fulfillment, something big coming in. Because why? You're vulnerable. You're out there being the best version of the authentic best authentic version of yourself you could ever be. Queen of Cups. This is you. And also behind your back, what you can't see are these two kings. King of Swords, King of Wands. One is facing forward, and this king. Look at that, is facing you. See that? This is your star card. With the six of pentacles and the lovers. This is a choice of who you're going to give and receive with. And for some of you, and this card, if you look close, this person's given to two people. So some of you is what I'm picking up. You're getting some kind of like love offer, romantic support, and then king of wands, maybe also like a passion project. Maybe someone's like, hey, you're looking really good. We want to sign you up for this and this and that. 
I feel like you're getting two things, two opportunities through two different people. Spirit, can we clarify the two kings for cancer, please? Why two kings? Why two kings? Six of swords, justice. Someone, this is the six of swords we talked about earlier. They want me to put it back, so it'll probably come back. Libra energy, strong air energy. Um, I feel like this is someone who you've moved away from in the past. They've gotten their karma. Some kind of karma has been served and this person wants to talk to you. King of Cups. Uh, uh, there's a King of Swords that feels like a soulmate to you. Because they're really your King of Cups. King and Queen of Cups is a soulmate connection. This King of Wands, what's up with him specifically? Moon card. Ooh, he could have a secret. Eight of Cups that he moved on. He or she... Six of Cups, and you're the past person. Oh, they might, okay, this King of Wands, this might be someone in your life, actually, that still could be coming towards you romantically or as a friend, but they have been hiding the fact that they left, like, another person or they moved from a different location. So, yeah, you're, you have two kings coming in. And they're, it's on the star card. They're, this, these are both meant to be for you. On the Empress, we have a page of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Someone's offer will definitely not be enough. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Someone's offer will definitely not be enough. An Empress would never, ever, ever take an offer from a little baby page. No. No. Next, Empress. Why is this here? Magician. I love, I love, I love magician, eight of cups, ten of pentacles. I'm here. I know this is cheese. I'm hearing that. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. I don't know who sings that. That's what I'm hearing. It's a homework song for you. Tell the world cancer's coming home. A lot of you are like, uh-uh. I'm not accepting these little BS breadcrumbing bullshit anymore. What do I want? To move on into my 10 of pentacles, okay? This is the everything card. This is your family, legacy, partnership, money, the house, the home, the kids, the white picket fence, whatever it is that you want in that energy because your heart is open now. Your heart is, is open now or someone's heart is open. You've completed, you've passed a test, you've done it. Again, like I was saying, there's a version of y'all here, a rooted message here that you're not doing less than, you're doing what you deserve. And Four of Cups, you're not used to that. You're not used to getting royal treatment and people doing things for you. That for a lot of you can make you feel uncomfortable and bored because there's no run or chaser in that energy. People who love and support each other in friendships and family ships and romantic relationships there should never be any walking on eggshells and let me bend over backwards so I can please you and make you be my friend or my lover, or my partner, or my whoever. That's old news. That's lack energy. That's runner chaser. That's ego. And it's gone. We don't do that anymore. We do loving, healthy relationships. And how could that possibly be? A, again, because the four of pentacles, like we've talked about a bazillion times, and also because you've put the work into yourself. You learned to love yourself. Or are still learning that. Also, the Queen of Cups is my relationship card. And you definitely have a very stable, long-term, for the long haul, pentacle offer of Two of Cups. Soulmate, love, Queen of Swords. Someone wants to like clear the air here where there's been kind of storms and clouds. Someone wants to talk it out. Queen of Cups, Cancer. Ten of Wands. What did you put down? Wheel of Fortune. A lot of you have left, aka karmic relationships, karmic situations where it's like, man, am I going to go around this merry-go-round merry again? Am I going to let someone back into my life that I know is not good for me? Whether that be a friend, romantic person, family, whatever, this is general. 
or have I learned my lesson time and time and time again to not bend over backwards and put all of the effort and burden and all the things on my back that things are supposed to be even and equal, at least for the most part. We all have our days, but you know what I mean? You've done it. You've done it. You've done, hey, there's the 10, 10 again. They go, look at, look at, look, look, look. I'm really into numbers and numerology too. They go, look at the numbers again, 10, 10. A lot of y'all are seeing that and it's very significant. You, those of you that are seeing 10, 10, you've passed a very strength card, difficult test. Post this judgment about for cancer, please. All face down. I can't wait for all to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Again, there's an energy of choosing yourself. And I'm not saying those of you are not getting a relationship or offers or whatever, but there's still a version of like, I surrender. I surrender to anything, four of swords, seven of pentacles that doesn't honor my peace. Any person, any situation that doesn't respect me or honor my peace, I'm done. Ace of Wands, you are going to start going after all of the things that inspire you. I feel a lot of you maybe have been having like, creative blocks but now you won't you're gonna because you're choosing yourself you, you're like you know what i come first bottom of the deck ten of swords ace of cups high priestess devil oh my god a lot of you are in this energy of maybe you're going about to start your own business that you've been waiting to do forever go work for yourself something like that And by doing that, other people might not understand who you are, why you're acting this way. Who's he? Who's she? And when people, because y'all are going to get that. There's going to be people, because you have the Ten of Swords, you're going to get a lot of, and they have the Ace of Cups. You're going to, when you do this work and you change energetically like this, there's going to be other old people around you. I don't mean in age. I mean people that you've been around who you're going to be almost unrecognizable. Who does she think she is? Who does he think that he is? And you can go ahead and tell them, well, I did the work. You, you, th you think I, I did all of this and got all this, ac these accomplishments and, and plans and all of this love or this, this career that you're doing or maybe you've your body's changed and you've you know you've transformed that like there's so many changes within you but what other, there's gonna be there's gonna i'm feeling it there's gonna be people like side-eyeing you and like why is cancer so this that why do they get this why do they have all this new beginnings and all the things a because you deserve them and you've worked hard to work on yourself to earn them Spirit, this is a spirit hand, literally bringing you passion and new beginnings on seven, seven pentacles that you've been waiting on, four of swords. There's a lot of you who are going to get an invitation, um, something like that. I'm hearing in the mail or when you're sleeping that you're like, oh my God, this is what I've been waiting for. What is that? Four of pentacles, page of cups, high priestess. It could be some, uh, you know, some good news around, you know, someone likes you or someone's interested or something like that. But I overall feel like y'all are just really going for the gold here. You're this, this is totally the energy where about four years ago, I left a person and a, an entire city in a situation because I was a people pleaser back in the day 
and I cared so much about holding on to a relationship than what Jacqueline cares about and what Jacqueline wants to do. And whatever this energy is here, spirit is like, this is what you just went through, not just, but four years ago when I started my channel, that it was very hard for me to choose myself. But when I did, look what happened. I read tarot cards on YouTube for you guys. I, I get to work for myself. I get to do what I love to do for a living, living, for a living, for a living. That's called fucking passion. This is my passion. This is my passion. You are my passion. I'm saying for you, what is your passion? Because it's coming in and you get to do that now because you're released from people pleasing, bending over backwards and putting every motherfucking person in front of you besides yourself it's not the easiest choice but it is definitely rewarding and i highly recommend it i love y'all so much cancer i feel like this reading there was like two or three different storylines going on i don't mean for it to be confusing but i hope that this helped for you guys we're going to do the pick a card um and those of you that want to join us for the love reading that's the first link in the description box below where we connect with your other person Cancer, the person that won this time is Georgia Townley. Georgia, you are my winner. Okay, so Cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, I might pick you. I love y'all so much. Thank you for everything. I'll catch y'all on the love reading or next time. Georgia, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Spirit, one of the best and highest messages for Georgia. Cancer energy, thank you. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, male or, male or female, strong masculine, 10 of wands, eight of wands. Um, I feel like there's been some difficulties with that person. Could be a boss, um, a masculine in your life, probably. Could be older than you. I feel like there's been Ten of Wands, like a burden or some kind of ending. But with the Eight of Wands behind that, you or them wants to open some kind of door of communication. Six of Pentacles came out. Georgia. Seven of Swords, oof, Strength card, Leo's card, Ten of Swords. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Georgia. Georgia? Okay, okay. Oh, damn. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords at the end. Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Girl, okay. Either you or someone is giving to two people. Just, I'm just going to say that. Um, Seven of Swords, Strength card, could be an Air Sign or a Leo, but I feel like you're finding out a very difficult truth about a situation. You have two new beginnings down here, maybe a new job and some clarity, some money coming in, something very stable. There's that King of Pentacles uh, with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm also picking up that whoever this King of Pentacles is to, is to you, um, that person probably either mistreated you in the past or acted like a fool, um, and they they put you through a very difficult situation. But you're gonna find out you're gonna find out some kind of truth, and you're gonna be rewarded at the same time. You're finding out something that you don't want to hear. Seven of Swords with a Strength card to together. Ouch. Page of Wands. Someone is like, mm -mm. Six of Pentacles. Why is this here for Georgia, please? I am hearing what goes around comes around. King of Wands. Eight of Wands. Masculine fire sign that maybe you're talking to, inspired by or fighting with five of store five of swords star card oh this is someone in your energy in your life that is suspicious that you're in a third party that's what this is there's someone who i feel is a little controlling in your life 
and like every time maybe you like are going out or you I don't know someone thinks that like you're talking to someone online or you're doing something and I feel like you're I feel like I'm hearing spirit saying you keep over explaining yourself and you don't need to do that that's a trauma response over explaining is a trauma response seven of swords what's the lie about what's the seven of swords someone's not telling the whole truth hermit virgo energy sagittarius with temperance and then yeah someone's definitely not saying something why the high priestess eight of cups nine of pentacles someone's pulling away Someone is slowly but surely pulling away eight of cups and detaching either you, either the other person, um, but you're not. It's like, for example, if you're dealing with someone who's very controlling, you're energetically starting to disconnect and move away from that person, but you wouldn't dare tell that person because they would, they would overly control you even more now, wouldn't they? So yeah, you're kind of going to start like removing your energy and disconnecting from this person who's pretty controlling in your life, I do have to say. Strength card, four of wands. That's a difficult part. Four of wands. Maybe you're married to this person or live with them. Four of wands. You're in some kind of commitment with them. Two of pentacles. You're like, but what do I do? Two of cups or death card. Yeah. You don't know what to do, whether to stay committed or end the connection. Four of cups. Either way, you feel sad. Either way, you feel trapped. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here for Georgia, please? Oh. <gasps> okay. Judgment. Five of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles for Georgia? I think I know what this is. Come on. What do we have? Ooh, Seven of Wands. Okay. There is... There's either, like, a job that was supposed to... Like, it's... That, how do I say this? There's either a job position that's supposed to be yours or was supposed to be yours. You got skipped in the past, but now you're going to get it. There's like money, inheritance, a home that you were supposed to have, but now, but you're getting it now. Someone cock blocked. Someone cock blocked either like money for you, a home, an opportunity. And for some reason, because of karma and you're ending something, Spirit's giving you what you really deserve, which is like money, shelter, a home, a new job, something like that. Yeah, you are getting some kind of money or inheritance, finances, something material. Because with the judgment card, I am hearing second chance, like resurrection energy. Something that you thought was buried, dust, like I'll never see it again, that's never going to be mine is going to be yours you have felt left out abandoned and out of the cold from the situation so when it shows up seven of wands you're going to be super defensive like what is this ace of swords why is this here for georgia please knight of cups okay six of cups Two of Wands, Knight of Swords. Someone, the truth is that this person loves you. They're probably from your past. You could have children with them. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're leaving whatever this other situation, this King of Wands, this conflict, I, that's what you're leaving or you're about to leave. And you're actually like moving, like going to your hometown or connecting with someone that you knew from the past. And that's the second chance that you thought you weren't going to get. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Emperor. This is your Emperor coming in. Ten of Pentacles that you belong to. And you're kind of in a rock and a hard place because you're dealing with kind of, I want to say like a, a, a narc kind of energy over here. You're not liking it. You are committed to it to some degree. But as you weigh your options, you get this second chance with something or someone that you thought was completely unavailable. All right, girl, that's your reading. That's your message. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.